A beautiful Saturday to you, our God Minute Prayer family. Welcome to the weekend. As you know, Lauren, our beautiful team member, had to step back from Marian Saturdays in order to give more time to her ever-growing family. She's still with us on team, thank God, <laughs> and will be offering a reflection each month like our other contributors, so we're grateful for that. While our Saturday prayer will assume the format of the Liturgy of the Hours like we do Monday through Thursday here at the God Minute, it will also have a distinct Marian theme since Saturday is her day. So we'll pray the Hail Mary together and close out the prayer by praying the Memorare. It is in the notes section, and we invite you to pray along with us. So friends, all is good, <laughs> and it is with a grateful heart today that I welcome you to our prayer. I'm Father Ron, and this is the God Minute. Blessed are you among women. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 47, Celebration All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with joyful cries. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be feared the great king over all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. For God is king over all the earth, sing hymns of praise. God rules over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. The princes of the peoples assemble with the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God, highly exalted. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture today is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 4. Even to your old age, I am the same. Even when your hair is gray, I will bear you. It is I who have done this. I who continue, and I who will carry you to safety. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I am a priest for 48 years. I hear confessions. And you might be surprised to know that many penitents voice worry that God won't forgive them. God can't. Maybe you felt this way. You are in a sinful relationship. You know it's wrong, but you can't break it off. Or, you have created a life of petty but real dishonesty, and you've grown accustomed to the short-term benefits your lies bring, and you just won't change. Or, you find that you confess the same sins over and over, and while you are contrite, you wonder, if God doesn't think, again, no change? God sent prophets. God sends prophets to bring us back. Not when we are worthy enough, 
with a firm purpose of amendment and an improvement plan ready for implementation, but rather precisely when we are lost, captured by sinfulness, no matter how petty, unwilling to love or live as we are called and able with God's grace, lost in choices that keep us enslaved. We humans are not created with a due date. Even into gray-haired old age, God's love is everlasting. God's mercy conquers sin with love. The coming of the kingdom is always our goal, our meaning, our fullness. Prophets come not to condemn, but to call. The first and most important task of God's prophets is to love the ones to whom he or she is sent. Yes, to challenge us, to turn back to the Lord, to abandon our cheap choices, our hardened hearts, our self-righteous pride. Come and find safety and salvation, the fullness of life that can only be found in God, in God's ways, God's ever-faithful, everlasting love. So, hear the prophets that God sends to you. Trust that nothing can defeat God's goodness, God's mercy. Give your sins to God and let them go. Be strengthened and renewed, and then walk tall as one who is saved and safe, more fully alive in and through God's grace. As Jesus gave us his mother as protector and guide, we now turn to her and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, thanking you for your boundless mercy and forgiveness. Your grace washes us clean and renews our spirits. We are unworthy, yet you forgive us with an everlasting love. Help us to extend this same forgiveness to others and to live in the light of your grace every day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And as I mentioned at the beginning, we invite you to pray with us the Memorare that will close out our prayer every Saturday. It's in the notes section on the app if you'd like for, to pray along with us. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O oh Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what a great way to begin the weekend with God's blessing and Mary's protection. And may that blessing go with you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in love, create the beautiful, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>